Hi. Hello. Hi, Lisa, can you hear me? Hi, Lisette. Hi, Jose, can you hear me? Jose, can you hear me? Hi, Evelyn. Guys, I need I need to know if you can hear me. Can anybody talk to me? Hi, Sandrita. Sandra, your mic is off. I, I need to know if you can hear me. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. I'm glad you can hear me. All right. Very good. All right. Good night. How are you? It's fine. I think. Fine. Okay. You should I be wish, happy I in class. Yes. This is the same teacher. That's, I that's know. Good. It's me again. <laughs> that's great. All right, I'm, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to have the same group, but now we have more people. We're going to have new people in, all right? Oh, so okay. I see that we have Evelyn, Jovel, I have Lisette. I had, well, I had Jose. I don't know where he went. All mm -hmm. right, let's see. Hi, Lisette, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Can you unmute your microphone for me, please? Okay. And Evelyn, can you do the same just for me um, to know that you're listening to me and I can listen to you too? All right, Jose, can you hear me? All right, I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying here. They are, they are shy. Hi, guys. I know they are shy. All right, hi, Jose. <laughs> Josué, <laughs> Josué Salmerón, can you hear me? Yes, hi. E hi, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent, very good. I'm, I'm glad you can hear me. I'm just trying sound here right now. Jose, can you hear me? I can see Jose, but I cannot, I don't know if he's listening or not. Lisette? All right, Lisette, can you try to unmute your microphone to see if you can hear me and I can hear you? Jose, can you try to say something as well? Jose? All right. Evelyn? Evelyn Jovel, are you there? Oh, this is difficult today. <laughs> yes. Yes, but uh, it's my first time in this. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah. good, Evelyn. But I need to know if you can listen to me and I needed to know if you, you can like, if I could listen to you. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Thank you very much. All right. So Josue can listen to me. Very good. Evelyn. Very nice. I know Sandrita can. Lisette, can you hear me? If you, if you can hear me, can you nod your head? Can you say yes? Can you move your head? Yeah? All right. Um, can you try to speak to me, please? Do you know how, Lisette? 
Unmute your microphone. Can you unmute it for me? All right, you said there is an icon at the bottom, all right? There is a microphone at the bottom and it says mute or silenciar, I guess, in Spanish, and you unmute yourself, Lisette. All right, okay. Oh, Jessica's here too. Oh, let's see here. Jose no puede escuchar nada. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to um, okay. why Jose's uh, mic is not working. All right, first day is always chaotic, all right? <laughs> so give me a second here. Okay. All right, what about Lisette? Lisette, um, have you tried? Can you try, Lisette? Can you chat with me what the problem is? Send me a chat and tell me what the problem is so I can help you out. All right, let's see. Um, I, hi, Jessica. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to have you in class. Very good. Are you ready to keep on learning? Again? Are you ready to keep on learning English? Are you ready to keep on learning new stuff? Yes, yes. I'm oh, ready. Excellent. All right. Aura. Hi, Aura. Can you hear me? Aura, I have Chris and I have Lawrence. All right, hi Chris. Your mic is off, Chris, very good, thank you. Hi Chris. Hi, good evening. How are you? Good evening, nice to see you. Hi. Excellent, I'm glad you guys are here with me. Aura, can you listen to me? Aura, hola Aura. Aura Torres, hola, me escucha. Sí, me escucha ahora. Necesito saber si yo le puedo escuchar a usted. ¿Cree que puede? Ah, Lizeth, lo logró. Yes. Ok, very good. Ahora, si puede eh, encender su micrófono ahora para escucharle. Now? Excellent. You... Very good. Yes, I can hear you now. Ahora. Thank you. Ok. Very good. I think we're doing fine here. Okay, guys, so we're going to begin. Okay, so my name is Jessica Cerritos, and I'm going to be your teacher for this uh, pre-advanced module one. Okay, so I'm going to be with you for a whole month, so you have to bear with me and put up with me, right, Sandrita? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, one of the things, uh, I'm just, well, the very first class, I always try to, like, welcome everyone because I always have new students, and I also welcome the, the old students, okay? So some of you have been with me for a while already and some of you are new, but that's okay. We can all work together and we work fine, okay? I'm just gonna uh, take a couple of minutes just to uh, make sure that you guys are understanding, not English, but understanding the whole platform and the application of Zoom and if you have any questions. So I'm just gonna switch back to Spanish in case, just to make sure that we're on the same page, okay? Um, como ya dije, mi nombre es Jessica Cerritos y voy a estar a cargo de ustedes este módulo, ¿verdad? El preavanzado módulo 1. Eh, tenemos compañeros que ya vienen de antes conmigo y otros que son nuevos. Y para los nuevos especialmente y las nuevas necesito saber si tienen algún problema con la plataforma de aprendizaje, si ya la pudieron ver. Eh, o si tienen algún problema con Zoom, con la aplicación, sé que José está teniendo problema con el micrófono, eh, pero aparte de él, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, inquietud, duda, ya sea del programa, de todo el programa, eh, o de algo en particular. Eh, me parece adecuado porque este es el, el momento donde usted puede despejar cualquier duda desde el principio y luego igual yo le voy a dar 
eh, sugerencias y les voy a eh, platicar un poco de, de, de lo que se trata todo esto, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a, a ver a los son nuevos, no sé, Aura, tengo a Aura, a Evelyn, a Lisette, a José, pero José está teniendo problema ahorita. Eh, hasta ahorita son ustedes los más nuevitos, no sé si tienen alguna duda, consulta. Chicas, chicos. No, eh, sí, sí, dígame, 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 Evelyn. Eh, yo estuve llenando un par de cosas en la plataforma, pero llegó un punto en que ya no me dejó escribir una respuesta. No sé si fue problema de mi laptop o, o, o qué, o, o, o lleno y hasta, hasta cierto momento me deja avanzar y de ahí ya no, no sé. Sí, eh, no debería de ser así. Eh, puede ser que a veces la plataforma como está siendo usada como por muchas participantes, ¿verdad? Entonces, a veces uh -huh. podría que se, se trabe al buen salvadoreño, pero no debería de no dejarla seguir avanzando. Usted puede avanzar lo más que usted pueda, que eso es lo ideal, ¿verdad, Evelyn? Eh, uh -huh. Regáleme la sección. En la primera, en la 1.11, me quedé. 1.11, vaya. Eh, uh -huh. Igual, si gusta, trate ya sea mañana de volver a intentarlo. Si sigue teniendo problema, igual yo mañana puedo um, verificar. Y si hay algún problema con eso, yo eh, con gusto le, le resuelvo ahí para que usted pueda um, seguir avanzando. Oye. Ok, gracias. All right, very good. Thank you, Evelyn. Ok, ¿alguien más que haya tenido hasta ahorita alguna dificultad para poderles ayudar y orientar ahorita y luego dar como los lineamientos generales y luego ya empezar con toda la clase? All right, ¿Sí? anybody, Lisette, Josué, ah, Jessica, dígame. Bueno, el problema de la compañera no deja avanzar, aunque uno escribe, donde dice reescribir la respuesta con Q y con DAT, poniéndola con Q, poniéndola con DAT, poniéndola completa, cambiándola. No, no se la está tomando. No, no deja. Ah, ok. Eh, ¿Siempre es la, el mismo numeral que me está diciendo Evelyn, eh, Jessy? Ah, ok. Entonces está teniendo problema ese. Con gusto yo, yo lo veo mañana y les ayudo con eso. Oye, gracias, Jessy. ¿Sí? Zoom está costando entrar. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora me costó como unos tres o cuatro minutos porque okay. dice que eh, en, en breves momentos va a permitir entrar, pero ahí se queda. Ok. Y luego logró entrar. Ajá, no, mejor me salí y volví ah, okay. a ingresar. Y volví a ingresar. Ah, ok, ok, bueno, vamos a tomar eso también en cuenta. Gracias, Jessy. A ver, eh, Lisette, eh, Lawrence, hola. ¿Me escucha? Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Hi, Rodolfo. Hi, how are you? How are you? Fine, very happy to see you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome again, Rodolfo. Very nice. Very good. A ver, ¿quiénes más tengo por acá? Anybody? José, sigue sin eh, poderme escuchar. José, inglés. No, José, science. I know you can hear me. All right. Um, I have a problem with another student. That can, he cannot speak or hear me. All right. So he's chatting right now. Okay. So, Lisette, no, no hay ninguna duda. Lisette, hasta ahorita, ¿pudo ya habilitar su micrófono y todo bien? Sí. Ah, sí. Ok, muy bien. Ok, eh, vamos a empezar. Creo que no sé si alguien más... Sí, dígame. Congratulations, your makeup is great. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Rodolfo, you're always so kind. Thank you, Rodolfo. <laughs> All right, very good. It's the first day of classes, Rodolfo. Gracias. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you for your comment, my friend. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so we're going to begin. Voy a dar las, las, los lineamientos generales que siempre tomo el tiempo en la primera clase de hacerlo. ¿Verdad? Aparte, bienvenida formal. Eh, ustedes ya me parece que ya están enterados e informados de que nuestros módulos, la duración es de cuatro semanas. ¿Verdad? Esta vez sí vamos de corrido porque no hay Semana Santa. Invitación. All right. Y son cinco secciones o unidades o unidades que nosotros le queramos llamar, pero son um, cinco secciones que se van a cubrir en estas cuatro semanas, ¿verdad? Esta semana, por ser la primera y porque ayer hubo una, informa una reunión informativa, eh, esta semana vamos a retomar de martes a viernes, ¿verdad? Pero las siguientes tres semanas vamos a correr de lunes a jueves 
como se estipula, ¿verdad? Eh, la videoconferencia es de 8 a 9 de la noche, ¿verdad? Si usted no tiene la oportunidad de estar en clase eh, conmigo en este lapso de tiempo, no se preocupe porque nosotros siempre grabamos. Y la mañana siguiente, a más tardar, esta, esta se sube a nuestro canal de YouTube y usted puede accesar a ella. Tenemos el playlist que es el mismo código, se lo puede buscar por el código del mismo eh, código que tenemos en nuestro grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí usted lo busca y ya se puede enterar de lo que pasó en la clase, de qué nos reímos, de qué no nos reímos, qué no entendimos, ¿verdad? Igual, eh, lo que yo doy en la clase de 8 a 9 es el refuerzo del tema que usted tuvo que haber visto anteriormente. ¿Verdad? Entonces sí les pido de favor de que en algún momento del día, yo sé que tenemos mil y una ocupación, pero eh, ese es su compromiso, ¿verdad? Poder ver la plataforma, entender de qué se va a tratar el tema o de qué es el tema, para que en la noche usted venga conmigo y si tiene alguna duda, pues me la hace y yo justo le resuelvo su inquietud. Y de todas maneras, igual yo, eh, yo doy la explicación para en el tema. Recuerde que los 3, 5 minutos que tenemos en el video de la plataforma no es suficiente para entendernos en el tema. Eh, no sé, perdón, voy a interrumpir aquí un ratitito. No sé eh, quién tiene como un poquito de bulla atrás de ustedes ahí en su casita o no sé, porque sí está haciendo como bastante interferencia. Creo que son eh, reglas de convivencia, ¿verdad? Si usted sabe que en su en torno hay un poco más de bulla de lo usual, favor apagar su micrófono mientras pasa la, la, el ruido o la bulla o un perrito o un carro o un camión, ¿verdad? Que a todos nos pasa, ¿verdad? Pero sí silenciar su micrófono en ese momento para que los otros compañeros y yo en este caso podamos desarrollar la clase y los ejercicios. Sí es importante que su micrófono lo tenga abierto la mayoría del tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque yo hago preguntas y sí me gusta que participen mucho, de hecho, este, esta es su hora eh, de fama, ¿verdad? Para que preguntar, para que pueda eh, compartir o para que pueda eh, participar en la clase y en la dinámica. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, también es importante que usted esté. Sin embargo, lo que es rigor y lo que es obligación es el trabajo en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Si ustedes ya pudieron accesar a él, y repito, son cinco secciones. Después de su tercera sección hay un examen y luego viene su examen final después de la quinta eh, sección. Entonces, esos son eh, obligación que usted tiene comple que complementar, al igual que todos los knowledge checks que usted encuentre dentro de las secciones. ¿Verdad? Para que usted pueda ir avanzando y no tenga ningún problema. De repente ya la otra semana yo le voy a empezar a decir, ajá, Sandrita, está en números rojos. O Evelyn, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué, cómo, ¿Por qué no me ha avanzado? ¿Verdad? Entonces sí les damos seguimiento y no solo yo, sino que también los, las personas de la academia les pueden llamar o escribirle y decirle que está avanzando, ¿verdad? Porque sí es, como repito, obligación que usted llene los ejercicios de las secciones. Mi recomendación es que usted vaya por sección por semana o inclusive se empiece a adelantar. No hay ningún problema que usted se adelante, el problema es que se atrase, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, sí entendemos que tenemos obligaciones aparte, ¿verdad? Pero eh, pues es parte de su compromiso y de su aprendizaje, entonces aprovechelo. También recalcar y decirles que el estar acá con nosotros, con los tutores, en este caso con mi persona, nosotros como institución, como academia, lo hemos tomado a bien de tener los tutores, que somos nosotros, ayudándoles a ustedes con los, de, los temas de la plataforma para que ustedes tengan una hora de práctica, ¿verdad? Y a veces ni se siente, ¿verdad, Sandrita? De repente ya nos tenemos. Sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, sí. aprovecha este momento. No es lo mismo ver el video, sí lo puede hacer mañana, pero ya no puede hablar porque ya, ya está grabado, ¿verdad? Entonces, aprovecha este momento para <risa> poder hacerlo, ¿ok? Preguntas okay. hasta ahorita de todo lo que ya les dije. <risa> No, y así son de calladitos todos y calladitas, ya me asusté. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. I hope you don't have any questions, but if you do, please let me know. All right, okay. so uh, because this is our very first class, what I want to do right now, hi, Erika. So what I want to do right now is for you to... Hi, hi. Good evening. For you to introduce, uh, uh, for you to introduce yourselves with me and like with the class, 
we're going to start with the new students because they're new. All right. I don't know, Jose. No. <laughs> Jose, can you hear me now? Yeah. Ah, perfect. All right. Excellent. Very good. All right, Jose. So um, tell me about yourself, like your name, where do you come from? Uh, where did you learn English? All right, because you're already in pre-advanced, so you're not basic, so you're English by now. All right, Jose, so take it away. Okay, my name is Jose, Jose and my last name is Inglés. All right. And I, um, I studied English uh, last year. Uh, I have studied in English around two years, but it's, it's complicated because when I studied English, yes, I I didn't pay attention uh, that I should. All right. But I I try to improve now. Excellent. Very good, Jose. All right. Very good. And we're gonna try to help you out. All right. Very good. Thank you okay. for being with us. Nice. All right. Let's see. Evelyn, it's your turn. Uh huh. Evelyn. Okay, hello. My name is Evelyn. My last name is Hobel, and I am graphic designer. Okay. And I I was studying English in um, Prolingua Institute. All right. <laughs> is uh, is um, but it's so hard for me because uh, my my speaking is not good uh, but uh, i'm trying to to speak but it's so difficult it's, it's to hard, me. yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Uh, think think and and then uh, <laughs> try to yeah Express it. okay uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's common to me uh, think in Spanish and then translate in right, English. Yeah, so. yeah. Me too, yeah. me too. Yeah, all right. It happens to everybody, all right? Evelyn and Jose, don't worry. Remember that the speaking skill is the last skill that we acquire, all right? And it's a process. And that's why being in class is very important because you get to practice and you get to learn a little bit more. Very good. Thank you. Welcome, and I hope uh, you're going to learn a little bit more and you're going to keep on improving, okay? That's the whole point. Very yeah. good. All right, Lisette. Uh -huh, Lisette. Uh -huh, Lisette. So share with us your experience. Tell me about yourself, Lisette. Hi. Hi. Uh, well, uh, my name is Lisette. Uh, well, I started studying English. Um, I was studying the university okay. around 18 years ago. All right. So um, I like so much English. I know I have to, to improve it. Right. But um, as many of you, well, we are in the way. To right, of course. To learn and speak very well. That's so right. My dream to, to speak very well. <laughs> All right, very good. I hope I'm going to be part of your dream. Very good. You're going to improve. Oh, very good. Um, Aura, thank you, Lisette. So you're very welcome to the class. Aura, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Hello. Aura. Hi. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Aura? Of course. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ines Torres. I'm a secretary and also um, study at Pedagogica University. Okay. Uh, English English teacher. Okay. I would like to improve my speaking skills. Okay. And then, and now uh, I'm here to to learn. Very good. To keep on learning. Very good, Aura. So you're very welcome in class. So Thank you. we hope we can help you out a little bit more. Very good. Thank you, Lawrence. What about you, Lawrence? Does your name? Hello, hello. Hirong? Hola, hola. Well. All right, Lawrence, Hirong, are you there? Can you listen to me? No escucho nada. All right, Lawrence, can you hear me? David, se me hizo la pantalla chiquita. 
All right, Maribel, we can hear you. <laughs> All right. Okay, very good. Maribel is going to try to, to um, get it going. All right, Lawrence, you cannot hear me? Ah, okay. So, Lawrence can hear me, but he cannot speak. All right. Okay. So, welcome, Lawrence. Okay. All right. So, um, hopefully, you're going to be able to listen uh, to participate later. All right, but that's okay. You can be there and just uh, uh, just listen and just be part of the class. All right. I you don't have Lawrence a microphone. Doesn't have a microphone. Yeah, he doesn't have a microphone. All right. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's begin. And this one. Welcome again to class number one. I'm not going to introduce Sandrita and Jesse and Maribel and Erica and Rodolfo because I know all of them already. That it was the the, the turn for the new students. All right. Okay, okay guys. So, uh, we're going to start talking about topic number one. Does anybody know what topic number one is of the pre-advanced course? Do you know what the topic is? Anybody? Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns. Very good, Erika. You're such a good student, Erika. Very nice. I like that. Okay. So, we're talking about relative pronouns. In the evening, all right. All right, Maribel is talking to Arona Holmes. Y para right. encontrar aquí, que ponerle más alto. Right, let's see who else do I have in class that I haven't greeted. <laughs> Mauricio, <laughs> there, and Marcelo, and Josue. Ah, Josue, you're, you're hiding from me. Josue Salmerón, can you introduce no, no, yourself? Hello. Sí, lo escuchamos. All right, Josue, the idea is for you to introduce yourself. Can you do it for us? Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Josue, um, Josue Salmeron. Yeah. I'm 30, 30 years old. Okay. Uh, I was studying marketing and publicity. Okay. Um, uh, only that. <laughs> only that. Very good, Josue. Welcome then. Very good. Maribel, ya arregló el problema, Maribel, porque nosotros la escuchamos todo. Of course, desde el principio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. No se preocupe yeah, okay. que nosotros escuchamos todo. Oye. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, very good. Okay, so please, if you have a little bit of noise in your background, please shut your mic off just for a little bit, okay? So we can... Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to start talking about relative pronouns. All right. Yeah. So this is what we have. We have relative pronouns. Can everybody see? Sandrita, can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? All right. Very good. Relative pronouns. Do you know what they are? What are relative pronouns? Anybody. I need to know what relative pronouns are, if you know what it is. A relative pronouns is like who, maybe that. Okay, yeah. Some, something like that. Yes, very good. Who, that, what else? Anybody else can add to what Aura said? Someone? Um, uh, not really. One. No. Mm, no. Uh-huh. Anybody which else? Ever. Which, which? Uh, Only uh, which? which? Very ever. good. Only which, actually. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who, that, they. which? Excuse me? Whom? They. Whose? All right, very good. Today, guys, we're only, yes, whom also. We're going to study only who, which, and that, all right? Actually, who and that, you're right. We're not going to go into which right now, but it's good that you know what it is, okay? So let's go on here. All right, Sandra, can you read that, please? What do, this is my question here for you right now. What do relative pronouns do, okay? And this is the answer. Aha, uh -huh, Sandrita, what do they do? Excuse me? Can you read what, what it says here? Okay. Yes? They give additional information about something. Okay, so relative pronouns, they give additional information about something or someone. Okay? Very good. Jose, can you keep on reading, please? It says example. Sure. A bundle is somebody who damages buildings or objects. Who damages buildings or objects. Right? Yes. So, Aura, can you identify the uh, relative pronoun on that sentence? 
the relative pronoun is who. That's right. Very so good. Talking about a bundle is somebody. It's somebody, all right? So a bundle is somebody, which is a person who damages buildings or objects, okay? So we're using the relative pronoun who, all right? And we, if we go back to what it says here, to what Sandrita read, it says, they give additional information about something or someone. Let's continue here. Um, let me see who else I have here. Uh, uh, Josue, can you read the other? Uh, can you read what it says here, please? They also, relative pronouns also what? Josue, they? Link up two sentences. They link up two sentences. They link up two sentences. And that's what is really, really important, all right? It's not that it's important that they give more information, but what they actually do is that they make they join two sentences or they link two sentences. You have two ideas, you have two thoughts, and you put them together using a relative pronoun. In this case, who or that. Okay, we're gonna go on with the other ones later. All right, very good. Lisette, can you um, read the example, please, Lisette? A damaged building or object. Uh, right here, Lisette, please. A vandal? A bundle is somebody. All right. Continue. Who, who damage? In, in this one, I'm sorry, Lisa. In this one, the first sentence. Okay. Uh -huh. Damage will be third object. Okay, very good. If you notice, thank you, Lisa. If you notice, we have a sentence here and we have a period and then we have another sentence. They, Secondary information. Right. Yeah. Which buildings or objects, okay? So what you do, you're going to drop the pronoun they and you're going to replace it with the relative pronoun who. And then when you do that, you have one longer sentences, which is made up of two clauses, the main one and the other, the, the, in the, the dependent one, all right? So we have okay. a bundle. Is somebody, continue, Chris, please. A bundle is somebody who damage will damages damages yeah. damages. Okay. Yes, Chris. Again. Okay. A bundle is somebody who damages damages. Uh huh. Or object buildings or objects. Okay. Very good. So here you have these ones which you already mentioned. Right now, remember that we're only concentrating on who to already know this and i know you do uh let's see uh jessica can you keep on oops jesse i'm sorry jesse you're here hold on they jesse they look like w h but they are they look like w h question words but they are not okay in this case yeah. they are being they are being called uh relative pronouns all right now rodolfo Mm -hmm. Keep on reading. They? They have got their um, sentence. All right. And you have a clause and then you have subject. Subject plus verb plus object. All right. Okay, very good. So we have a cot is a place where a baby sleeps or a crib, all right? So here we have where. In this example, they're using where. Okay, yes. because remember that's part of the relative pronouns. But right now, as I said, we're going to concentrate on a who right now. Let me see if I have this. All right. Okay. Any questions so far? Do you have any questions right now? Guys, do you have any questions about this? No. No, no. questions. All right. No questions. You guys are doing good here. Okay. So here we have this one, the uh, relative clauses. In this case, we're concentrating on who, as I said. This is what I want you to do right now, because you are telling me. I mean clauses, teacher, sorry. Sentences. Uh, it's a okay. sentence, but it's like a very fancy way to say it, because it's grammar. Okay, All right? I got it. Okay, very good. So here we have, um, let me see here. Erika, can you read this sentence, please? I usually speak to the woman. Okay, sentence number two. 
I usually speak to the woman. No, this, this part right here, Erika. Owns the hotel. Owns the hotel, all right? Um, now, okay. if you put it together, Mauricio, how does it come up to be? I usually, usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel. All right, thank you. I usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel. If you notice here, guys, and this is what happened, I'm just going to show it to you here. I usually speak to the woman that's clause number one or that's the sentence number one, and then we have the other one. She owns the hotel. We put it together. We draw a, the pronoun or the subject because it's, it's referring to the woman. We, we omit it or we take it off. We replace it by who. I usually speak to the woman who owns the hotel. Yes? You're okay? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Very good. Copy on your notebooks, please. Yeah, I also forgot to mention that. For the people that are new, can you always have like a piece of paper or a notebook where you can take notes and always yeah. have your cell phones ready to take pictures because usually I ask you to take pictures of an activity and then I send you to your groups. All right, so number one, please. Ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah. No. All right, number one, Celine Dion. Number two. <laughs> That's very easy, right, Sandrita? No, no. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, Donald Trump. Number three. Uh, let me see. Um, John Snow. Excuse me? John Snow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. Um, I'm thinking for another another name here. Okay. Uh, let's talk about, I don't know, give me a singer, guys, any singer or an actor, an actress. Adele? All right, Adele, sure. Okay. With these three names, I'm going to send you right now to your groups, all right? And you're going to make sentences. I'm only giving you right now the very, the very first part of your sentence. I said Celine Dion. What about Celine Dion? I don't know. You tell me. A All right. Yeah. Okay, I know she's a singer. So what I want you to do is I want you to make my simple sentence using the relative pronoun who. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, so for example, you can say Madonna is a singer who wins uh, many, I don't know, Grammys or something. All right. You understand? Okay. okay. Now, remember that you can use who as a relative pronoun or you can also use that. And whichever one is fine. If you want to use in one sentence who and in the other two sentences that, it's okay. What you cannot use is which because I'm talking about a person. Mm -hmm. You understand? Let's okay. try it. We're going to go to your groups right now. Please, uh, for the people that are new, I'm going to send you the invitation, accept it, click on OK, and then you uh, work on your groups. Ready? Ready. All right. Can you Very repeat good. the names of the team? Uh, Celine Dion. <laughs> Celine Dion, Donald Trump, and Adele. OK, thank you. You're welcome. There you go. All right.
Hi, Lawrence. Hi. All right, Lawrence, maybe you can type what your problem is right now because I sent you to your group and I don't see you in your group. Hi, teacher. Hi, Chris. Hi. Um, I think Lawrence is having a difficulty, all right? So I'm going to move you to another group right now. Okay. Because Thank I think he doesn't even have a mic on right now. So um, he's going to struggle working on groups. So I'm going to send you to another group, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Wait for me. Okay. a millionaire yeah who's a millionaire donald trump of course <laughs> <laughs> Adele. All right. You guys are doing okay? Excuse me? Are you guys doing okay? Yeah? You said that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go see another group right now. Okay. Adele is the word. Hello, Miss. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, Jessica. We're finished. You're finished. All right. Can I, can I listen to one of your sentences, please? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. It's a singer yes. who lives in Canada. Oh, very good. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Nice sentence. Very good. All right. Just give me a second. I'm going to go check on another group. All right. Okay. Right now, you guys can talk a little bit. Only in English. All right, Jesse? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi, my friend Rodolfo. Hi, teacher. Hi, Jose. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? You finished? Yeah, yeah, we All are right. ready. Excellent. Give me one of your sentences, please. Okay. We choose a Lidion. Okay. Who lives in Canada? Who lives in Canada? Very good. Yeah. Who lives? In Very Canada. good. Yeah. She's a singer. Nice. Uh huh. Who lives? Celine Dion is a singer who lives in Canada. Very good. Yeah. Uh, All right. She's um uh, her famous soundtrack. Is Titanic. Yeah, I know, eh? Uh huh. <laughs> the song we will go on. I know that's a very nice song. All right, very good, nice. I'm gonna go check in another on another group, and I'm coming back. Okay. 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 Yeah. I don't know. Hi, Erica, Maribel, and Chris. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, <laughs> Miss. How are you? The, okay? the, the sentences, three sentences, the Adele. how, how. You say who? Who? Yeah. Who is Adele? Adele is a singer. It's a singer. Uh -huh. singer. Yeah, Adele is a singer. Uh -huh. What can you tell me about Adele? Uh -huh. Who her husband died of cancer. All right. Oh, it's a Celine Dion. 
Ajá, uh -huh, that's Celine Dion, no, Adele. Adele, I don't think her husband is dead. But that's yes. okay, it's only an example. Adele or Celine Dion? Well, that's okay, don't worry about it. It's just the information that I want to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Celine Dion. Uh -huh, uh, yeah. Her husband died, died of cancer, died. Uh, okay, yeah. very good. Okay. Had cancer. Yeah, he had cancer and he passed away, I know. All right, just give me one second. I'm gonna go check on two more groups and we're coming back to the main group. Hi, Mauricio. Hi, Josue. Hello. Hi, Hi you finished? Uh, I guess. Okay, let me see what you have. Let me, let me hear you. Okay, give me a sec. Uh, Celine Dion lo loves the places that are warm. All right, but in that case, if I replace that with another relative pronoun, which one I'm gonna replace it with? Um, with which? who? Ah, with which. which? All right, okay, which. yeah. Okay, that's good. I, I, I'm glad that you know which one that we're gonna replace it with, but we're supposed to try to do only right now with who. But that's okay, it's fine, it's okay. Very good. Uh, okay. okay. What about uh, Donald Trump is the uh -huh. person uh -huh. who won the presidential campaign? Excellent. Very nice. Well done. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. All right. Just give me one second. I'm going to go check on another group. Every day. Every day. Hi, Marcelo. Yeah. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, teacher. Finish? Hi. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, let me hear one of your sentences, please. I Adele uh -huh. uh, is a famous singer who is in who is in process to divorce. Uh -huh, right, I know who's in process of divorce. I know. <laughs> All right, excellent, very good, well done. Okay, we're gonna go back to the group. We have one last exercise, and then we're about to finish. Okay. Okay. okay teacher. Teacher. All right, guys, very good. I checked on everybody's um, a groups and you were doing just fine. So just because of that, I'm gonna give you this to work with right now. Are you ready? I want you to take a picture of this right now and you have like five minutes to uh, work on this, okay? There are only four sentences. So number one, it says, he's the man. And after that, there is a period. All right, he painted my house. Number two, what is the name of the boy? He telephoned you. Number three, they are the people. They're offering Sue a job. Number four, that's the woman. She works in the post office. So with this information, all right, if you notice, you have two sentences for each number. So what you have to do is put those two sentences together joined by a relative pronoun who, right? Get it? Yes, okay, yes. Take, a, take a picture right now, guys, because remember I have another class and I leave five minutes before nine. So let's get to work right now, please. Let me know when you're finished taking the picture. Got it. Got it, very good. Everybody done? Excellent, thank you. Done. All right, very good. Okay, so again, I'm gonna send it to you and I want you to work it together, okay? And the okay. idea is for you to practice. Remember that, keep that in mind at all times. There you go, click on the... On the invitation to your groups. Jose, did you get it? Did you, did you get the invitation, Jose?
paint painting my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, two sentences, watch or no? Oh, just one. I don't know. Mm. You have Be to share. work. Hi. You have to make all the sentences. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, what is the name of the boy who telephoned you? Perfect. Very good, Ebony. Nice. They are the people that are offering you a job. Excellent. Very good. So you're replacing that for who, and that's okay. Or you can say who or that, and it's fine. Uh-huh. That is the woman who works in the post office. Very good. Very good, my Thank you, teacher. You're Thank doing you. fine. Very good. Okay. 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 Very good. Any questions? No. Um, using yes. the pronunciation of woman. A woman is the woman, the woman. Um, <laughs> what is the name of, uh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. That's the woman, that's the woman. Um, I say both. It depends on when I say it, but I say that's the, whoops. That's the woman or that's the woman. That's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. Very good. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to go check on the other guys. What is the correct for? The, what is the correct for? To write? I don't know. Which um, one, Jose? What is the name of the boy? Uh huh. Who to telephone? To tele telephone the the telephone? You. Yeah, telephone you. Who telephoned you? Mm hmm. Okay. Who? Number three, they are the people they are offering you a job. Um, the exercise, they are the people who are offering you a job. So a job, very good. Nice. All right. Come on. Come on. Pero entonces no es. No, no. Sandrita, are you speaking Italian or French? Or Portuguese? <laughs> <laughs> no, esa fue la I, única I know it was in Spanish. I don't know what it was. <laughs> okay. Then we, we have a question because yes. we can use. Uh -huh. We can't use whose, right? No, not right now. Only who or mm -hmm. that. But the, but the number three, they yeah. are the people that we can use that. Yes. Who so again? That are offering. Uh, that is. They are the people who are offering to a job, or that that are offering are? to a job. Uh huh. Who are? Uh, who are? Or that are. Also, yes, remember that you may use that or who? Mm, but okay. That is, yeah. Well, because I think it's not that because mm -hmm. uh, it, it's in single music. That is, I, I mm -hmm. always use that in, that is in single person. But people not is plural. plural. Yeah, people is plural. So we can use that that are sure yeah of course we can use it yeah of course because because this is re replacing who that's right, right. yeah uh, you can e you can use either or you can say they are the people who are or they are the people that are okay mm, both, okay. both would be correct okay uh-huh okay thank you you're welcome all right we're gonna go to the main room and we're gonna talk about it okay okay
All right, guys, are we ready? Let's just check it over and see what we have. Oops, hold on here. So we had, he's the man he painted my house. Erika, can you do number one for us? He's the man, he's the man who painted my house. Very good. He's the man who painted my house. Excellent. Maribel, uh, Maribel estaba en el mismo grupo que Erika, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, all right, let's see. Jessica, can you do number two? What is the name of the boy? Uh-huh. Telephone you. Very good. Uh, what is the name of the boy who telephoned you? Good, nice. Uh, let me see. Eh, Josué, number three. There are the they are the people who's offering to a job. Uh, who's or who, Josué? Remember that who's, who's is for possessive. Uh, I mean, it, 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 it notes possession when you use who's. In okay. that case, so in that way, it would be they're the people who are offering uh, Sue a job. All right. Offering. All right. And the last one, Aura, can you do number four? Aura, your mic is off. Sorry. That's, That's right. the woman. That's the woman who works in the post office. Very good. Miss, Miss, sorry, I have yeah. a question. Mm -hmm. And the second sentence number two, we can replace telephone uh, for call. That's right, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. When yeah. you the boy who call you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can also say it. Very good, okay. no problem, Aura, very good. Now, remember, guys, that you may replace who for that. So we can say he's the man that painted my house. A, what is the name of the boy that uh, telephoned you? They are the people that are offering Sue a job. That's the woman that works in the post office. So if you want to use that instead of who, you may do so, okay? So that it can be, I mean, who can be replaceable with that? Get it? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I have to go because I have another class to teach right now. So I'll see you tomorrow. Keep on studying the platform so you know in advance what we're going to be talking about. We're going to keep on talking about this topic tomorrow still. So that's in the platform. Evelyn and Jessica, I'm going to check on the exercise you mentioned. So don't worry. We're going we're gonna to fix that, okay? So thank you very much. Nice to meet you all and welcome everybody again. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.